What is going on YouTube viewers and subscribers? This is JSO from SNN Tech and I'm here to give you an alternative to raising the volume on your Nexus 7 or any tablet for that matter because the volumes on tablets are extremely low. Now in my previous top 5 Nexus 7 app video, some of my subscribers have mentioned to me, you know, oh the Volume Plus app you mentioned don't work. Yeah, well when Google updated the Nexus 7 tablet to 4.2 Jelly Bean, they disabled the APIs to modify the external speaker so this application will no longer work. So, you know, if you have this, you can go ahead and uninstall it because basically Google blocked the APIs. This is coming from directly from developer. You can go in your Play Store and you can see the description of what he says there. So that no longer works. Now, my alternative costs money. And, of course, you can also root your phone to get access back to the APIs. But I'm being lazy at the moment and I kind of like this little device I have with me on the side. And what I'll do is I'll use this wireless bluetooth speaker this is made by the company hndx i don't know if you can see the logo because the light reflecting hndx and it's a jam wireless bluetooth speaker that's the brand of it so this is how this is how the tablet sounds at max volume before i use the bluetooth speaker the volume is all the way up And today we're going to be talking about, your, let's say, your top three or the best gaming series in your personal opinion. And I want to start this one off by saying my... I'm going to turn it around so you can hear the speaker more directly. This is what the sound is coming from. Because I'm a very competitive player and Now once you get into a loud environment, that's not very loud at all and you can probably barely hear it. It's quiet in my room right now, so I can hear it clearly, but once I get, let's say, you know, at a friend's house, or if I bring this at work and use it on downtime, or whatever you get a chance to use it with, there's noise in the environment, you're not going to really hear this. Now I'm going to connect the Bluetooth speaker, and I'm going to show you how it sounds with the Jan Wireless speaker connected to it. Just to brush you guys up quickly, if you decide to go ahead and purchase this product, this thing can retail from $25 to $50. $50 is the, the regular retail price, but if you do your homework online and do some shopping, Amazon, eBay, buy.com, you can probably snatch this up for $25 without shipping if you're very patient. Now, anyhow, you're going to go into the settings into your tablet. You're going to hit settings, and you're going to go to Bluetooth. And you're going to cut your Bluetooth on. Sorry about, you know, if I can't aim right, you know, my, my focus, focusing skills on a focal point is not the best, as always. Alright, now I'm going to take the Jam Wireless speaker and you're going to cut it on. Here's the power button in the back here. And once this thing cuts on, it automatically enables itself to be paired with a device. You can tell so by the Bluetooth symbol, this little blue blinking light, the consistency rate at which it blinks, meaning it's available to be paired. All right, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna click right here, search for devices. Once you click search for devices, a weird number should pop up in here, and that's the Bluetooth speaker. 46AF, I mean, my, that's my number. Yours may be different, so don't pay attention specifically, but you're gonna see a, a new available device pop up. You just click it, and the default password to the Jan Wireless speaker is as stated on the back of the device here. It's going to be four zeros. And just to show you guys that, you can see zero, zero, zero right there. Four zeros. Anyhow, we're going to enter that in the tablet. Zero, 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 zero. Hit done. Hit OK. And you're going to hear it makes a little beep. As you just heard just now, now it's available to be paired. Now I'm going to go back to that same YouTube video. And I'm going to hit play with the volume on it now. Now as soon as my slow Wi-Fi loads this video. Condition, turbo, two turbo. And then they started evolving on to like the Versus series with the Marvel. Now this is the volume maxed out on the tablet. More expand it to the world and then you got more. I'm going to pause it. You also have your own volume controls on here and you have, it has its own set of, you know, the volume down. You can pause and play videos and you can also hit the volume up. Now I'm going to increase the volume to its maximum capacity to give you a feel of how loud this little wireless Bluetooth speaker can get. And they started giving like live terms like Evo and such and such and it became a real real big popular series. Now how do y'all feel about that and what are y'all to, you know, gaming series? <clears throat> 
I definitely think Street Fighter definitely is up there for one of the yeah. fighting games. Yeah, definitely because it's something. I hit play, you know, you can hit the play button to pause, like I said earlier, and you can unpause it. My new fighting game has been around for that. Now, according to the company, this thing can last you up to four hours, you know, using the Bluetooth wireless connectivity between the device and the speaker itself. And it has a also it also has an auxiliary port, so, you know, you can connect it directly from the headphone jack to the device, and if you do it through this method, you'll get about 12 hours of battery life out of this device. It also charges through micro USB, so any USB port will work, you know, through computer or through a port from your phone and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in the settings again and I'm going to disconnect the Bluetooth from this. And I'm going to let you know how this thing sounds once again without this little Bluetooth speaker. And this is the max volume of the tablet. So I hope you like this my, my little video. You know, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, if you need more information, if anything I missed out on, which I probably did, you know, write in the comment description, inbox me, send me a message, and also consider following me on uh, Google Plus and Twitter. I'm mostly active on Google Plus, so you know, any active Google Plus users out there, you know, check me out. Anyhow, this is Jay Silver from SN and Check, y'all. And I'm out. Later. <laughs>